In this video, we're gonna show you how to deal with the Blink 500 Pro V2 audio in post editing. If you have two lives being recorded at the same time, you have both signals coming in, and most likely you have your receiver set to stereo, then you're recording each laugh, one laugh on the left channel, other laugh on the right channel. How do you deal with that in post so that you can edit it after this? Yeah, so if you're recording both signals at the same time and you're in stereo mode on your receiver, we're gonna walk through how to be able to separate them so that you can edit them and adjust them separately. And so as you can see right here, as I expand this, you can see that the left channel, which is down here at the bottom, the waveform is different from the right channel. That's because this is one transmitter on the right side and a second transmitter on the, on the left side. And as you can see here, I have my two subjects, which is Amy and Marlo here. So first of all, let me go ahead and color correct this real quick because it's kind of bothering me. Now let me take you through the process of getting this taken care of. So basically, since we have these two signals, right? The first thing you wanna do, the first thing that I do is I right click and I unlink. I separate the video from the audio. So now I can select them individually. And then the next thing I do is I will, either I can right click and choose copy or I can just control C get all the way to the beginning here and make sure you unselect where you don't want the um, file to be pasted because we don't want to over paste the one that we already have so I'm gonna take this off here deselect track one so that it'll actually paste on track two and boom there we go so I have the same exact audio track pasted on track one and track two so now I'm gonna select track one I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to audio channels and in audio channels this is where we select which one we want them to be so I'm gonna select that clip one is both right channel if you notice now there's a difference let me mute this and we can actually play it and I had like this uh some Greek lasagna stuff so we know this is Marlo on top channel so we do the same thing for the bottom channel. Right click, go to audio channels, and I want this both on the left. And as you can see how it duplicates the audio waveform from left to right. The moussaka? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it so now we have both audio separated that we captured. And if we want to make any adjustments, we can do that here. If you want to turn him down, I can turn him all the way down if I want. You like I love working here. I or I can bring him back up. Man, listen, I'm gonna get a job today, man. Let me, I'll show y'all how to make a milkshake. I'll be back, brother. So basically, that is the post-editing workflow when you're recording in stereo mode with the Blink 500 Pro V2. Yes, that was quick and painless. For you guys that don't quite understand how to deal with both signals in stereo mode in post editing for Premiere Pro, now you do. So if you've been around this channel in with the time, you know this channel is all about iron sharpening iron and we're all taking our skill to the next level. You know me, I'm Aaron Jones, I'm your big brother and I got your back. I'm about family, faith and filmmaking. If you're all about that, go ahead and hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell because I got a lot of content coming at you and I don't want you to miss anything that may end up helping you. With that being said, make sure you go out and you film something and kill it.